Okay, guys, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, some personal things, uh, surgery came up and whatnot. So I have an old True Cut Series 1, which is the first C CNC Plasma True Cut made. Um, since then, True Cut has gone out of business, but none of the provided post-processors work. I have, um, for my bosses, so, in the True Cut, um, True Cut setup, they have Sheet Cam, which has Post and Sheet Cams, um, I'm not really a Sheet Cam fan, it's a very, it, it's good for plasma, but, uh, I do everything from milling to lathe work, so, Fusion is a nice, uh, Compromise to have everything. So, and on top of that, all these don't work. So, what I was experiencing was with the post straight from Fusion 360, the Mach post, Mach 3 post, you get G code that looks like this. Um, if you look right here, this is going to be the problem. The True Cut uh, Series 1 uses a G28.1. So, that's what it looks like. And we want to get to this, where it's G28.1 Z number 2, which I guess is like a tool, tool 2 or a setting in Mach 3. Um... Pretty much the way you find this is, this is the post I went to, um, there was sample files, I am not on the computer, but, that has them, but if you open up a sample file, um, you'll see G code that looks like this, and the G codes were lining up perfectly, uh, with what I wrote, and their samples, except this, uh, G28.1. So, G31 is a homing position. So, pretty much it goes down until it hits the probe. And then it origins that. So, it counts as zero. Um, G28.1 must be the same thing. But it's True Cut's way of doing it. So, I'm going to show you really quickly how to change a post to get that. Of course, I am not a programmer. I pretty much cannot help you when it comes to your machine and your code. It's gonna take hours, essentially. So, we'll just make a quick little <clears throat> part here. Let's see. Two. Let's see. And then, I like to give my parts a little bit of distance. So, let's do 0 0.075. And then, okay, so, our part is done. We're going to manufacture. So, general setup. Um, in your setup, you can eventually... Once you have your post in there, you can make a machine, and you can detonate the post. So every time you click your machine, it loads up the specific post. Um, it's a sample, and this is my home computer. So I'm not too worried about doing that. So we'll do a cutting operation. Um, let's see. So we're just going to use a sample. I just wanted to change that. I don't know why. All those decimals annoyed me. Um, so we have the tool. 50. Geometry. We're just going to select that. Clearance. Um, this is going to be your retract heights. Uh, since it's a sample, I'll just leave it. 
the same, I would recommend going out from that if you have parts that, like, um, this part would actually pretty be pretty bad. You would start here, you would cut around, and then by the time you cut out the circle, it sits on slat, so you might have a tip up of this little cutout. So whenever you have a uh, high tip up chance, you might want to go up with that retract height. Okay, we're going to go passes. We're going to go left compensation type. I don't think Mach... Well, Mach 3 might support in control compensation type, but just do a computer. You can turn on smoothing if you want. Doesn't matter. Lead-ins. Quarter of an inch. And we're gonna hit OK. So, I will go ahead and simulate that for you. So, it's gonna follow that path. Go ahead and close that. Be right hand click. Um, I'm only doing this profile. If you are doing multiple profiles, just uh, right hand click on that post processor or post process. So, right now, we want to do the mock. And we're going to turn on probe because that's that G31. So, let's see. Let's just name this one. Okay. So, if we open up that one, you can see G31 for the probing, and we want G28.1 Z number two. So, now we're going to change that. Is go back here, right hand click, post process. And of course, this will work with all of the um, light or post posters. You just have to find the one that's closest to you. We want art soft. So, oh, okay. My bad. I, I had it. Ordered by description, not by vendor. So we want the plasma. So you're going to right hand click up here, you hit export. We're just going to do that straight to our documents. So we already did this, but we'll replace it. So, that's what we want, and we know it's that G31 code. So, the way I'm going to edit this, I do not want to change anything about how it thinks of G31. I'd like where it's placing the G31s, it's before, it, it's placing it in the right spot. The only thing I want to do is change G31 to G28.1. So we're going to control F. And I'm using Notepad++. Um, it's a free program. Um, it's a little bit nicer than Notepad. Um, if you click on here, it will show you what's inside parentheses. If, and what not like that. Um, so, we're going to look for G31. Now, when you have quotations like this, that is going to be a comment or a text string. Um, so, we don't have to worry about that one. And like I said, I am not a coder. I don't understand what 
a lot of this means, but I understand what most of it means. Good, or actually like 4060. So, bar initial, no. Initial, true, no. Right, G31. So that's the command that's telling it to write. Um, we, we probably want something like this, where it says function. So, function write G31. This is what we want. So. Okay, th this is pretty much saying, when it goes to write G31, this is what it does. Okay, so right here, we see G format 31. Um, this G92 will be for the offset and the um, pause, I believe. Like if you have a pierce delay. So we want to say, okay, th this is the G31 line. So we just want to take all of this, delete it, and we don't have any changing variables. The um, pierce height, pierce delay, and everything is set by that number two in the G code. So we're gonna string this or text this. So we'll open the parentheses. We want G twenty. If I can type right now, 28.1 space Z. And then we want a number two. Close that. I, I don't really know what those brackets are doing. Um, it just had it in the sample code. So, might as well put it in there and end our text. Okay, so we're going to file, save as. One thing is, when you do this, save as, see right here has this as a uh, save as type. And it wants to convert it to a text. You don't want that. You want a CPS. Um, we're going to make this post 3, since I already had one with post 2. Okay, so, now it's saved. Go ahead and close all that. Let's see. Delete those two. So that, that's the one we posted in the very beginning. So now we're going to right hand click, post process. Now we want to hit the folder icon and we want to load in that one we just made. So hit that folder, local, import, which is this button right here. And we're going to do post three and select that one. So, post three, let's see. I just name this. New. And then we have to go back in. Turn back on our probe. Post. And then, let's see. So we'll open up the old one. And we'll open up the new one. So, you can see if I flip back and forth between the two, nothing changes except this. G31, Z2, what I want, G28.1, which is nice because that's a part all of them.
Oh, sorry about that. We also also want to click use the access for this post. So that's one I just made. So here we go. We're going to have the first hole, the second hole, and the third hole. Uh, so because I wasn't using the Z axis is why it only did it for the first one. And yes. Again, I just want to end on a quick note. I more than likely will not be able to help you. Every machine's a little bit different without being there with the machine, seeing sample code, um, seeing how it reacts to the way you, when you change things. There, there's many variables. It's going to take you a long time. This was just what I had to do. Um, it even took, even something this simple it took me a while. Uh, editing code is very time consuming. Um, you just gotta pretty much write the code, post it, make sure it's doing what you want, and then go from there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.